prosecutors are ultimately trying to tell a story about what happened um, in a way that keeps jurors engaged because they're going to have to listen to four months worth of testimony. Many of the witnesses are survivors of the shooting who watched their loved ones die and who, um, had, to, who had to escape the theater themselves. What really stood out to me, I felt, was actually seeing um, the crime scene photos and listening to the detective testify about where he found the bodies in the movie theater because it was the first time that we'd really seen photos of what happened in the theater and you just really wouldn't expect to see this type of thing in a stadium style theater, movie, giant movie theater complex. And, and he showed you know pictures of just people sort of sprawled out in between the aisles and on the sta stairs um, amid popcorn and ammunition. The, the defense is trying to say, well, we don't dispute what happened in the theater. Um, we want you to focus on his mental health and we haven't heard those witnesses yet, and those are expected to come in the next coming days and weeks. He rarely speaks to his attorneys. He doesn't move. He just occasionally glances at the clock. He doesn't look at the jurors. He doesn't turn around to see who's in the gallery, and he has shown no visible emotion, even despite this graphic testimony that's been presented.